Now let's talk about the biblical figure Joseph. Now technically, his name is Yusuf. Joseph and the Technicolor dream coat. The name Joseph means remover increases. Barrenness removed. Blessing increased. Now if you look at Genesis chapter 37 on page 32, the first thing you're running in verse 2 is that Joseph is 17 years old. Who knew that? Who was there? The number is important because there's two things that happen in this number. Number one means God. Number seven means divine intervention. One plus seven equals eight means rupture, separation. A separation from tradition, family, system, the life. Everything that he understands, everything that he knew is going to break apart. All of the things will break apart. His family is no longer going to be with him. His traditional religion is no longer going to be with him. Everything is going to be changed. Everything you see in this story has nothing to do with Joseph. Has nothing to do with Jacob. Has nothing to do with brothers. Has nothing to do with sisters. Has nothing to do with Potter or Pharaohs. It has to do with you. You have to understand there's two parts of this story. You have to understand on the left side, this is the brothers. This is the system. On the right side is Joseph. Each one of you have a Joseph. That's why this story is so beautiful. Each one of you has a Joseph capable of the Technicolor dream coat. One of you have a Joseph capable of becoming something very, very special. But unfortunately, in many instances, even after you've known that something happened and Joseph is gone. And that's what basically this story is about. But someday, no matter even if Joseph has left, even if that beautiful thing in the right side, in that inner peace, that place within, you even if it's gone one day, the brothers, the system, the thoughts from the left side will come to Joseph and basically that's what this story is about. Now there was a time when maybe it was very important that Joseph was a part of your life and your life seemed to be more important to you. So you represent that which is the ego, the mind. But something happened. Joseph was deceived and Joseph was sold away. And then you looked around and there was no Joseph. Life wasn't as happy anymore. It didn't make any difference if you knew how to meditate. It didn't. That was part of it, but then one day, it just didn't become important anymore. Maybe today, we'll realize that the reason that didn't become important is because the 12 brothers, the thoughts from the left side, caused Joseph to be driven away. Genesis chapter 37 verse 2 the lad was with the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah. Bilhah meaning faltering and Zilpah meaning drooping. Think of yourself. Those are the ones who are part and parcel to the thoughts of the left side. Drooping, faltering, angry, depressed, scared and all of that is part of the left side. Hemisphere of the brain. You have gone through religion, you have gone through tradition, you have gone through the family, you have been told by your mother and father, and they told you in school it was this way, and you found out it wasn't this way, and then you went out and voted for people, and the next thing you know, planes were flying over dropping bombs on other people, and things were exploding, and all hell was breaking loose all over the world, and you found out this isn't the way. Something is wrong. Everybody that's told me this is not right. Something's wrong. You come to the point when you realize that the only thing in you that can make life worthwhile is Joseph. The Joseph part of you. Is Joseph still there or is he gone? And Jacob made Joseph a coat of many colors. And the colors are the colors of the chakras. The chakras that run up and down the spine our colors rose which is love and red which is power and scarlet which is life and yellow which is kingship 
green which is astral and blue which is peace and purple which is wisdom white perfection black potential gold is god and all the variations and that's what the coat means and that's what's possible within you if you understood joseph if you would give time within yourself with the joseph part of you instead of the left side of you then you ask yourself god what am i doing what am i alive for there must be a purpose in Genesis 37 9 and he dreamed yet another dream and told his brothers and said behold I have dreamed a dream more and behold the Sun and the moon and the eleven stars bowed down to me the Sun is the mind bows down the moon is the emotions bows down and how many stars 11 where's the 12th there's two aspects of the 12th Joseph and Virgo Virgo bows down to nobody the virgin bows down to nobody the spirit bows down to nobody so the 11 stars bow down the 12 signs of the zodiac minus the virgin and it cannot submit it can only be taken by force Genesis 37 and he told it to his father and to his brethren and his father rebuked him and said unto him what is this dream that you have dreamt shall I and your mother and your brothers indeed come to bow down ourselves to you to the earth we bow down to you Joseph who do you think you are and you know what happens inside we say the same thing I know what I'm doing I'm not going to bow down to anybody I'll figure it out I'm not submitting to anything I'm not submitting to no one or anything. Joseph is Christ in you. Joseph is God in you. Matthew chapter 12 verse 48. They said, Hey Jesus, look outside. Your mothers and your brothers and they think you're nuts. Your mothers and your brothers think you're nuts, Jesus. And what did Jesus say? Who is my mother? Who is my brothers? And he stretched forth his hands to those people who understood him and followed him and those people who entered within themselves and those people who would separate from thought and those people who practiced the single lie and Jesus said behold my mother and my brothers and I'm telling you with all the strength in my heart this has nothing to do with religion or spirituality it has nothing to do with organizations it has to do with you your brain and your mind there is a Joseph in there in the right hemisphere and in most cases the brothers are ruling the day and all of us but one day when we have broken and beaten those brothers they're going to have to come to the right side and bow down to Joseph there's a conspiracy going on inside your head and you don't even know it let me tell you something in the history of this world as it was created on this planet as earth everything has been more important than this and look at the result Genesis 37 23 and it came to pass when Joseph was unto his brethren that they stripped Joseph out of his coat his coat of many colors that was on him you've stripped Joseph of his coat you've stripped Joseph of his kingship not you your thoughts Genesis 37 24 and they took him and cast him into a pit and the pit was empty there was no water in it who did it not you your thoughts did it Genesis 27 verse 25 along came a caravan and the brothers lifted up their eyes and the company of Ishmaelites on the way to Egypt do you remember Ishmael the wounded child Ishmael who is the one that would take Joseph to become a ruler Ishmael the wounded child he'll take 
the child to the promise to Egypt. Genesis 37 28 Then they passed by the Midianites, merchant men, and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver and they brought Joseph into Egypt. Midianites means strife, all of the hurt, all of the fear and guilt that plows you and they are the ones that pulled Joseph up and they sold Joseph to who? The Ishmaelites. Genesis 37 28 Then they passed by the Midianites merchant men and they drew and lifted up Joseph out of the pit and they sold Joseph to the Ishmaelites for 20 pieces of silver and they brought Joseph into Egypt. They sold him for 20 pieces of silver. Then the Ishmaelites took Joseph to Egypt to become king. Have you lost Joseph? Have you bowed down to the system or have you reclaimed your kingship so the world bows down to you while wearing the Techni Colour Dream Coat? This is my movement, the Technic Colored Dream Coat.